Good afternoon, guys. Just leaving one of the job sites here today, going down and gonna be starting a whole new excavating uh, job that we got going on. It's not actually an excavating job. Uh, okay, it kind of is an excavating job, but you guys will see when we get down there. Welcome back to the excavating company. We have branched off, started snow removal and towing, and now we're back here. We're gonna start excavating again. We we been excavating. It's just I, the owner have left to start the new it's not a new company it's just i get technically it's a new business of the company so we're back though and we are continuing to pump out uh jobs here and we hired a few new employees to kind of fill um uh, fill the void that i left when i left for a while but i'm back here for a little bit and we will be working 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 first things first look at what we got added to the company a volvo a40g mining truck like look at this thing it's got six wheels the wheels are bigger than bigger than me oh my goodness i could like fit inside of one that's crazy uh and then yeah j just 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 look at it i honestly don't know a lot about this truck i guess it's called the boss and we're gonna call it the boss and then yeah we are uh we just picked this up at a equipment auction not cheap at all it's actually fairly clean we pay we paid a pretty penny for it but I usually go to the equipment auctions wasn't looking for this and i was like you know what like our dump truck it's it's good but i i don't i we've been we've been doing some good business so now that i got the big cat over here and we have the volvo like things are building and we're starting to get into more like new development land and stuff so this is gonna be really good it's a uh it's a really good mod really good truck what i want to get next is one of the scrapers Really excited. I haven't seen any at an auction. So for now, like I got this. This is gonna do good, especially for today's job. It'll go on the road fine, but I think I got it for a good price. That I just couldn't walk away from it. So maybe down the road, you know, I take it back to the auction and, and see if I can just flip it because it was a good price. Not a lot of people showed up. It was a rainy day and we got a good deal on it. So the big cat is in storage over here. Caterpillar C32. This, they're a D11T, I don't know. Why did I say C32? And then we have the Volvo. And then this guy. I need to sell this. I never even used it, the Challenger. We just haven't used it in a while. So, first things first, I'm going to go show you guys the job site. Or no, uh, let me show you by... What we got to do is we got to bring back, bring down the Volvo. That's going to be how we load this up. It is an excavating job of some material that we're going to be selling. I bought this lot and it was in a mining company or like mining slash excavating company that we actually i feel like beat out in town here and then they they went out of business and i bought some of the land that they were selling that they owned and so yeah that's the move we bought that and i'll show you guys kind of that plot of land but i got to bring the volvo down and we will uh we'll be excavating and then dumping into yeah we'll be we'll be running both volvos here today so there we go is this is this wide enough barely it is barely wide enough this is one of the widest trailers in the game that just shows what kind of equipment we got running here boys there we go but i feel like you know we're starting to get into the mining kind of which technically we are mining today but maybe down the road we move to a di bigger different map but right now there aren't too many good mining maps um here in fs19 there's a few but there aren't too many realistic ones that are you know perfect for this company so we're gonna stick here for now this will be our home and then once i see that i'll let you guys know or let me know in the comments so we're heading down the road here i'll see you guys in a bit when we get close to our job site that was a pretty neat drive so we just went through like a small little village town they actually have a gate back here so i've been here before but this was a quick buy by me saw it up for sale and i knew it would go quick Got a fairly good price on this too in my opinion so here it is all this land they were uh they were mining into it drilling into it and it looks like they have some material left over so what we're gonna do i'm not sure what we're gonna do with this land right now i'm just holding it and then what we're gonna do is sell the material on the ground here at one of the sell points actually the only sell point central grain or no there's more actually no central grain elevator so that's where we're gonna sell them at it's over there not too far at all 
so we're going to be running that back and forth i'm going to bring down the volvo actually i'm just going to drive it down the road it's, you know it's street legal the roads are pretty small and i gotta go through that village but i think people will understand it's like it's like 12 there's like a church a, i saw a church a barber like a deli and I, in like a few homes and a few other businesses but it was so small so let me go ahead unload the volvo i'll get the truck out of the way get the semi out of the way but that's what we're gonna be doing today you know what maybe i might bring down a conveyor belt if i can get that figured out but ever since fs19 at the beginning conveyor belts didn't work and i was and i have yet to try it to really try it so let me know if you guys know if conveyor belts work and I don't know if they would work with this material. All right, so we better throw on every single light we got. We have the hazards on. Got the hazards on. We are locked and loaded. First person is pretty cool. I love that how it articulates. Very realistic, and it really like affects the steering good. All right, man. He's got to be. He's got to be a little quicker at opening up there. <laughs> how does he not see me coming? It's like I got to stand there, and then he opens it up. But I'm sure. Oh, that's that's too bad. He's just he's got to look to his right just a bit. Anyway, we're heading down the road. We're we're cooking at 35. At, we'll probably end up. Okay, watch out for this semi truck. This semi truck. Okay, we beat that guy. You just got to think about. You got to be very careful when driving heavy equipment down the road. And then once we're loaded, I mean, we got to be careful about hurting the concrete, roads. Like it's pretty. We got to be careful with that. This is a bit unrealistic, but it is a fairly small town. So hopefully they understand. But here's the look at how small this is. There was the food or there. Oh, yeah, there's a shop. The church is right there. And then the deli really weird deli is right there. Then what? I don't know what that is. Little grocery store, few homes. And that's it. And then we're here. So not too bad of a drive. And the sell points just right over there too. So we'll sell over there. It shouldn't be too bad. And we'll make some money. This cost me four hundred thousand dollars. It's it's six years old, which is fairly new, and I can't drive it. It's fairly new for this type of equipment. So it looks really good. I like I like Volvo Yellow. I think it's pretty clean. Alright, let's go ahead and jump out. It's time to load up. I forget what this holds. And and then I, I did upgrade the Volvo. I think it holds it holds a crazy number of uh it holds a bunch so we're gonna see how that is the volvo is by far the fastest at loading up you might think like spencer why aren't you using an excavator that's like faster than the wheel loader but i 110 percent oops prefer i need to get the hang of this i got steering sensitivity on like a million i might turn it down um but the Volvo's just so much quicker. The excavator, like, ugh, there's something wrong with it. It just, either I can't run it good or it's just, it's bad. But whenever you're running equipment like this, I do recommend to switch up your sensitivity in game by hitting the control panel here. And then you can change, nope, not that one, this one. Vehicle arm sensitivity, camera sensitivity, but backup speed, super important. Get that on 100. Steering sensitivity, also very important. Because when you're running this, you want to be able to quickly turn, go, back up it just makes the like once you get the hang of it oh my goodness it's so much faster and then just you don't have to move your mouse super fast so or super far to unload and then with this volvo if you're using this you have to like go at a perfect slope and then it unloads the fastest so not too bad and then so what we're loading up here is just gravel um uh, i believe i yeah i think everything is in french i believe let me double check let's let's look up exactly what great gravier means yes so my assumption was correct this is gravel and it's uh gravier is that however you pronounce it took french in high school but it's it's gravel in english so things are going good we got about a hundred thousand liters in so far not too much of a debt in our uh in our volvo there but you know it's fun it's good what i want to do is like get like 10 loads in have like a bunch in there then that'll be a lot of fun like 2 million liters so we're like six seven buckets in maybe even eight 
And we're, we're really starting to put a dent in this going pretty fast. I can't. I'm trying to figure out how to load this up. Oh, wait. There it goes. Some of it likes to load up. Some of it doesn't. Then see right there. It's Oh, wait. I'm 100%. That's why. But it's just kind of weird like that. And then I need to reposition. I was going to have a driver. One of our employees be the driver. But, you know, I just thought it was my day back. Everybody was fairly efficient. I also hired a new manager because I was like the acting manager slash owner. And then I hired a new manager. And now when I come back, I kind of want to just, you know, oversee the business. I don't want to get too hands on. And then when I want to get behind some heavy equipment like this, then I'll just kind of do my own thing for the day and see what I can get done to help the business and keep the guys going. Or if they like need me, another guy, like I love to help. And it's, and it's a lot of fun too. So that's kind of the move now. The business style I'm trying to run. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. The uh, This wheel loader here is just 20,000 liters at a time. It's pretty crazy. I'm going to do a few more bucket loads here. And then I think we're going to take it. Let's actually see. So we're holding 11% right now. That's it. Just 11%. This thing. So I upgraded it. If you go to trucks, it normally holds. What is that? 50,000 liters so like two two like two three bucket loads of this volvo would fill it up but then if you change the capacity to make a heavy hauler an increase of a hundred thousand dollars now it's one two three four five six it's two million liters which is just insane so I kind of want to fill it up. Uh, that's going to be a lot. It's literally going to be a little less than 100. It'll be like 90 loads. So that's just showing we... What, we're like... We're 12 loads... Er, yeah, we're like 12, 15 loads in. So that's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, what I'm going to do now is i just want to drive it see what we get for it let's go ahead and look at prices finance uh gravel 508 per thousand liters let's see what we can get for that oops there we go and then this is the updated one you might have seen a version of this but there's a new version that came out working lights were all changed and there were a few other bugs that the uh the the new modder just made a few updates so pretty interesting it works really good i haven't seen any problems with it the driving the articulation of it is just you feel it so well it's a really really quality mod i can't wait for it like a really good i need to do some research find a really good mining mod mining map if i can get my hands on one of those that would be a lot of fun i can definitely feel the weight in the back of this and just when returning like, I feel quite a bit of a change, and we're only 13% full. Alright, what's the best way to get there? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dirt road, which is kind of bad. We're going to run through the bushes here. This map, the like logistics of the road, is very, very poor. Some places are just extremely hard to get to and super inefficient. I just found that out over trial and error. All right, let's go ahead and pull in. Look at this place. This is this is about. I think we need to move to maybe a bigger map. We've first off the map, guys. Look at the. We better save it real quick so it doesn't. Uh, it, this this map used to like crash all the time, but it doesn't anymore. But look at the map scale. It's so small, so small. We literally drove half the map just right there. So I would like to. Go to something bigger. All right, so it looks like I unload right here. I'm sure they have never had this type of vehicle pull in here. This is like a little um, Brico Depot. What even is inside? We're, we're bigger than the building. It's like a little, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. See, this map is good. It has like cool construction sites, but there's not like 
good infrastructure set up okay so it it's saying that i should unload right here like obviously there's a symbol on the ground where's that that we can unload right here and i'm guessing it takes it right there and this place takes gravel but it doesn't give me the load like symbol oh there it goes we just had to back up some more what the heck all right hopefully this doesn't hit the roof oh no it's hitting the roof all right we got what we only got nine okay all right so we're unloading just fine it just we're hitting the top of this right here and it's telling me to like quit unloading like, or like obviously the bucket senses that we're hitting something and goes back down and yeah i don't know whether to have that safety feature and i think this is just too big <laughs> the equipment for this map i don't know what i'm doing i'm gonna have to go to a different town for sure let's just head back to the shop what i'm gonna do is just keep this gravel at our shop we'll unload it and then we'll just keep going from there i think what i need to do is just figure out a uh a good place to go to sell this down the road and then maybe we excavate it so i got a little over my head maybe i should go back to snow plowing but uh for sure looking for a new place to go if you guys have any maps or map suggestions that you want to share okay yeah see look at this oh, there's a crane that's not my company doing that what is that crane in the backyard of a house let's go check that out on our way back we're gonna check it out probably shouldn't be driving around here it's honestly pretty hard to control too check it out what's up with that crane okay they got new construction on but why would they need the crane you don't need a crane Maybe they were doing, I don't know. Maybe they were skipping out and build a wall and I don't know. So there's a setup there, guys. We're going to have to postpone on this until we figure out a better place to sell. Uh, but for the most part, a few upgrades to the company want to expand it. We are expanding it and I want to move location. So really cool map. It's just we outgrew it as you can tell by today's uh, experiences. So thank you so much for watching. Peace out, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Again, any map suggestions, please, please, please hit me up in the comments, email, wherever. And I'll see you all in the next one.